You can send in your questions to askpvquestions at gmail.com. Now we're going to be looking at an interesting question here from Niraj Kumar. He says, I'm a big fan of SJW YouTube, Sean and Jen, ContraPoints, H-Bomber Guy, etc. And also Progressive YouTube, Secular Talk, David Pakman, Sam Cedar, etc. Do you think progressive YouTubers should talk more about things like transphobia, racism, sexism, etc.? I feel like YouTubers like Kyle Kalinske spend a lot of time talking about economic issues, which are important, but his voice is lacking on issues more specific to marginalized communities. Conservative YouTubers recruit and gain their audience by mainly attacking the left on social issues, and I feel like there's no significant counter voice. The quote SJW YouTubers do a good job, but they have very low subscribers compared to the progressive YouTubers. So I personally am a, a fan of both, uh, you know, what you call SJW YouTube. I don't know if I'd put it into that category, but, you know, for the sake of this question, let's say that they are, right? I'm a big fan of Sean and Jan, Contraports, and H Bomber Guy. I'm a fan of all their channels. And, of course, I'm also a fan of progressive YouTube, people like Secular Talk and David Pakman. Now, that is an interesting point to bring up that... If you were to watch their videos now, they don't really talk as much about things like racism and transphobia and stuff like that. However, if you were to go back, like, they do have, like, a good amount and a lot of videos um, on those topics. But, of course, the, with the nature of YouTube and the online being more towards the right wing, they would get a lot of backlash on videos like that. Uh, I know that Kyle would talk a lot about transphobia. Um, David Packman would do that as well. But also, I feel like some of those kind of the relevancy of well i'm not saying that the relevancy of the issue of transgenderism has like gone down in any way i feel like in that time frame it was at literally the center and the spotlight because of uh what was going on with caitlin jenner so i think that some of that spotlight is kind of has, has kind of died down but so do i think that they should talk more about it um i think that they maybe they should talk a little bit more about it however i think that having both uh, kind of groups is fine because I do think that uh, focusing on economic issues while also touching on those other issues like racism and transphobia and things like that is good and important. I think that the way that we kind of have it right now is pretty good in which, you know, both both groups kind of have their, well, you could say separate focuses, but of course they're both left wing and they both kind of, uh, their points kind of come together in a way and they cross, cross paths, if you will. So, I think that, you know, maybe they should touch on it more, but I think that Progressive YouTube is doing pretty well, but they, they you know, they could cover more stories about things like racism and transphobia.